Non-typhoidal salmonella, or NTS, is a gram-negative foodborne bacterium capable of causing life-threatening vascular infections. Though the exact mechanism of infection is unknown, clinical evidence points to the risk of bacterial seeding and consequent infection in damaged blood vessels of patients with atherosclerosis. But the lack of supporting evidence from clinical studies and the absence of specific laboratory tests for diagnosis prevents early detection or risk evaluation of infection in patients with atherosclerosis, resulting in high mortality. In a multicenter prospective study in southern Taiwan, researchers from NCKU evaluated the risk of vascular infections in patients with NTS bacteremia based on atherosclerotic severity, a risk-based infection score called the NTSVI score, and plasma concentrations of inflammatory markers. As a measure of atherosclerotic severity, Aortic calcium scores were quantified from unenhanced CT scans of the abdominal aorta. Vascular infection was detected using abdominal or thoracic scanning. The previously proposed NTS vascular infection or NTSVI score was calculated using four variables associated with the risk of vascular infection. Among the 69 patients who underwent CT scanning, Aortic calcium scores were high for patients with vascular infection, indicating high risk of infection with atherosclerotic severity. The assessment of NTSVI scores revealed that the prevalence of infection was high among patients with a high score, which validated its usefulness for risk rating of patients with NTS bacteremia. Furthermore, higher concentrations of the inflammatory cytokine interleukin-1-beta were detected in plasma samples of patients with vascular infection, pointing to its potential use as a biomarker. Taken together, these results support the association of atherosclerosis and NTS vascular infections. This research also highlights the usefulness of CT scanning for early detection of coexisting NTS vascular infection in patients with risk factors of atherosclerosis. Along with adequate food hygiene, facilitating early intervention can improve treatment and prognosis outcomes of this life-threatening condition.